I want to kick it off and start talking about Crisis on Infinite Earth because Mark Guggenheim, the <laughs> showrunner, like, I'm tired of this shit. We're mainly gotta go. <laughs> because we're all really not on board with it. Yeah. So I did want to give a shout out to Mark Guggenheim who posted the first image of Crisis on Infinite Earths. <laughs> Can everyone close their eyes for a second? I'm going to reveal this in three, <laughs> two, one. First official image. Oh my god, that's <laughs> a lightning, blue laser something, f- laser vision, laser, laser vision. Yeah, and then you get an arrow. And maybe that's, a body? You got a body? That's Supergirl's body, I think, with mm. the laser vision. I think it's all of them fusing together for what will probably be the intro. Oh, so all their their bodies will merge together into yes. one being like, um, who does Voltron. that? Voltron. Like Voltron. Or, or Captain Planet. Captain Planet. Uh, all of the main actors yeah, of their own shows. We're talking Flash, Arrow, Supergirl. Supergirl. Yeah. Just the three fusing, yes, So the, far. Three main ones. Maybe Batwoman, Black Lightning, all of the legends yeah, yeah. into one big... It's like when they turned into the big stuffed animal yes. in Legends. That's how they defeat the animal. Bebo? Bebo. Thank yeah. You. Bebo's the one who restores the multiverse. So I want to dive into some of the news we got. Also, we've got some questions on the Discord that we want to hop into Oh, yeah, as yeah, well. yeah, yeah. This week we had some announcements regarding uh, some casting, but I did want to run down some of the roles that have been confirmed that will be in the crossover that we have some images for. Like Tom Cavanaugh is going to play one more Harrison Wells. He's got one more in him at the very least, and his name is Pariah. This is from the Christ on Infinite Earths what, what? Uh, crossover event. He was created specifically for that. He's a man who just witnesses Earth's die like Oliver did in Arrow this week and then is yanked over to another universe as it dies. Great. And it's aw- and he just cries and what screams. A, what a shitty job. Yeah, yeah, it's awful. And so uh, he gets to play that role but it's been described as more of a swashbuckling role so he's maybe just hopping universes as like an Indiana Jones type adventure. His costume Into looks it. really cool. Yeah, yeah, and we saw an image of him. We put it, posted it last week of the group but this is the first official image. Oh yeah, and he, he's looking pretty cool. We have a couple other official ones. Also want to give a shout out to the Spectre. He first Spectre. appeared live action in kind of in Constantine yeah. but I guess the CW now has uh, dibs on him so he's going to be appearing in the Crisis and Infinite Earths crossover played by Stephen Lobo uh, I believe he was on Supernatural and, yes, so, and a bunch of other genre yeah, shows he's, yeah. a, he's, a, he's a good boy and it's exciting to have a role that does smell straight like grass it, uh, is that wheatgrass? I'm sorry, is it bothering you? No, I'm just it's just one hundred percent smells like it's cucumber, like cucumber, celery, cilantro, chlorelina, spirulina, and uh smells like cut lawn. lemon. Oh, there's the yeah. little hint. I I mean it smells actually pretty good. But Do you uh yes. Need a mint myself? Huh? No, no, you're fine. No. <laughs> you're fine. <laughs> no, 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 don't feel self conscious. Yeah. That's not um, why no, that's not why I mentioned it. I'm sorry. Don't feel self conscious. With Spectre was showing up, that means we're having the like the right hand of God or the hand of vengeance or whatever from mm-hmm. the Lord. So yeah. our God is confirmed as being in the Christ of the Infinite Earth's crossover. He's He's gonna punch the anti monitor. That's pretty fun. Well, and he played a big part in the Crisis comic as well. Mm. Yeah, could, yeah, he's the one of the biggest boys that they have. Yeah. So you got to throw him in there. Speaking of big boys, we have a picture of the anti monitor uh-huh. and the makeup and the costume. Are you guys uh-huh. ready? You excited? Yeah. Please. I can't see regardless. Oh, uh, yeah. We got to get her glasses. But Dang. I've seen it before. If you want to support us on Patreon, we'll get some glasses for Roxy. We're getting so close to our goal. Three, glasses two, one. for Roxy. That's the anti-monitor. There he is. He's the mummy wearing the outfit from the other crossover. I, I'm going to be honest. It's not. When I first saw it, I was like, Ugh. And then I made a joke about it, and everybody was piling on on the internet. It's like, it's not the worst. But I wanted the helmet. I wanted the, he the goofy. The he could still have the helmet. I, I think like the helmet's probably going to happen. Also, have you seen what his face looks like in the comics? It's just a whole, three holes on a, like a wrinkled nutsack, basically. <laughs> it's like he doesn't have any. Uh, the New 52 actually did a really good job reimagining him in a fun yeah, with, way. Uh, when he was Mobius. Oh, yeah. yeah. He was. Uh, they just made him sexy, basically. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> they just did the classic. I, but I'm hoping he gets the, the classic helmet. Mm. Yeah. Speaking of sexy, Roxy, uh, there is one specific character that has been confirmed this week. That is I it feel confirmed or rumored? I think it's they been saw him rumored. on set. The people said they saw him on set. Yes. Nobody, nobody outside of that person. I will said, officially confirm okay, got it, got it, got it. <laughs> that this <laughs> man from another DC. What are you trying to take from me, DJ? Exactly. He's not letting you win. No, I'm just saying. I'm just. I don't want you to get your hopes up. Doesn't want you to have your grass. grass. Doesn't want you to have one of your favorite characters in TV history to be a part of the Crisis on Infinite Earths crossover. We're talking about the Netflix hit show, Lucifer. Tom Ellis. People saw they saw, said they saw him on set. Yes. Walking around. So we're getting, not only are we getting the, the right hand of God or whatever, and we're also getting the literal devil coming out to fight. I, I would actually be really cool to see him in, in the Spectre. I didn't even consider him in the Spectre interaction. Yeah, so you were poo-pooing it really No, quick. I'm way on board. I want it to happen. I just don't want, again, I just don't want it, because now there's also rumors about the about the Titans yes. showing up, and, it, and now now I feel like we're being played. This you is, know what I mean? This is my time. Okay. Uh-huh. This is your time. You're, tr- you're trying to take my... Sorry, I'm sorry. You're trying sorry, to tell I'm me sorry. he's not in it, and then you're trying to take 
my dreams away from me. Here's the great thing about bringing Lucifer onto the show. Easiest character to explain on the planet. Nobody needs to have watched the show. Yeah, true. Just by his name. Yeah. So that's why they're able to do it. It's it's not like uh, bringing in en- literally any other character where it's like, how are we going to explain this in a few sentences? His name is Lucifer. You get it. Yeah. You get what's happening. Uh, and he could maybe get him with his wings. Maybe he flies up and punches the anti-monitor in the but teeth. The one, the thing that I'm curious about is how this affects lucifer so this has to be a different earth lucifer right? i'd say classic move like the doctor who crossovers always do this they bring in multiple doctors from different timelines but as soon as they walk away they're like what <laughs> i don't remember how did i get on the street corner and then they move on with yeah but lives. lucifer is currently in hell and cannot leave hell i, I mean i think it's gonna unless be unless someone comes a knocking and his name is oliver <laughs> hey the devil i need you <laughs> come on out uh, or, or this could happen before his show Mm. Yeah, I, I think that's what they're going to do. I think he's going to show up, do his thing. Now I'm obsessed with the idea of Spectre and Lucifer teaming up to try and take on the Annie Monitor. With the Atom. But, uh, but <laughs> sure, <laughs> sure, sure. Uh, um, but, and, and I think he'll show up and then they'll move on. And it's like, how does it fit in the show? It doesn't. There you go. Everybody's just going to move Legends on. was in hell last season. So yeah. you know how Constantine had a show and it was canceled and now we have him as a regular on uh, Legends? Yes. I know that this is going to be the last season of Lucifer and like, I just hope that fans Wait. love him so much. Wait, he join he gets on the wave right. You know, Constantine, we can't keep him for too long. He wants to go do stage acting or whatever. Tom Ellis, though, yeah, I would we can like, get him over. I would die. Okay. Could you imagine? Sorry, <laughs> he's literally like we lost the fire guy, so I guess we'll get the the literal devil. Yeah. We don't have Firestorm anymore. Do you think he's gonna come back? You know what? I just want which one. You- Firestorm. Which part? Oh, for the crossover? A, a Firestorm. Oh, what if they all fuse uh, which, together? What if they one? bring back all three? The, which one so, of the three of them? That's three. what I'm saying. What if they bring back all three? And Ronnie. now become the, Ronnie, uh, we get Jax, from? and Caitlin's Stein. Caitlin's like, Ronnie. Oh, I mean, if they're going to bring the future kids over from Arrow, they can go back in time and get a few fighters. So here's the other question now I have. Now that now the gates are open, we're, we've theoretically the got these fo- this Fox characters. Do you think somebody from Gotham could show up? And if so, who? Well, he's not a Fox character, though, anymore. He's a Netflix character. Yeah, but yeah, Fox, they might be on Fox's lot where they're making it. And also, the only but reason also, I say that, though, is because Fo- Fox is Disney. Yeah. And but, Dis- and I don't know that they would give Goth I don't know. But see now Gotham is off the air and Gotham was a Gotham was a Warner Brothers show that aired on Fox. Mm-hmm. So theoretically they have access to all those characters. Do they? I would think so. Maybe I mean Possibly. maybe not, but let's know. say let's say they do. Who should come over? And I can I, tell you who I want right now. You can? Yeah, but I want to I want to know there... I want to know your thoughts. Who's yours? Um I think it'd be great to have Marina Baccarin come on. Obviously, I think I mean, having... she has a history with these shows because she was the voice of Gideon. Um, that that's really cool yeah. too. What? She was the voice of Gideon on the Flash oh, originally, yeah. and I think and she. I was kind role. of wondering if she was the voice because the, the voice of Gideon on Flash this week was not the voice on the Rave Rider. So I'm wondering if they got Marina Baccarin back check just for this episode. This. Uh, that could be cool. Hmm. I mean, it would be really cool to see either a penguin or a riddler. It, it just depends. Everybody on that show is so great. Why? Who do you want? Uh, so, because I remember we, we you read Crisis of Infinite Earths, mm-hmm. and we talked about it on the show, and, and we all had a really funny joke about the idea of, like, the Joker seeing it and just being like, you, time, this is way past my pay grade. I'm out. <laughs> so I would love to see their ver- the, 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 the future Joker with the wispy hair and everything. Like, he's doing maniacal shit, and then the universe starts getting eaten up, and he's like, fuck this. And he just leaves. That'd be funny. Yeah. That'd be funny. I'm trying to find the rest of the cast. I did want really quick uh, I think Gotham would be interesting uh, I'm also seeing in our discord people were posting that this can't be real because his website does not look great but um, they're saying that probably Robert Robert Wool oh from yeah I've been hearing this from too from the 1989 Batman film could show up as a cameo as a cameo as Alexander Knox yeah, so he was a news reporter, and um, he worked with Vicky Vale on the original Timber Batman and movie. And we've seen on the set of Christ on Infant Earth, so you can see Michael Keaton's Batman being yep. like Bruce Wayne's Mary Selena Kyle. Fun. Cool nod. You're Don't fun. know what it means. I'm fun. DJ also, wants Bane. Uh, yeah, also, uh, yeah, right. I, you know what would also be really funny is if, the, if they really wanted to pull and get one movie person. You were right. Miranda Marina, uh, Baccarin was the voice of Gideon on this week's this, Flash. That's, that's so epic. funny. Good for uh, her. If they pull uh, Margot Robbie's Harley Quinn 
And like in the middle of the fight, she turns to the camera. She's like, tune in to Birds of Prey on February for my, if, if she says that the whole amazing. title, Birds of Prey and the, uh, fabulous emancipation of one Harley Quinn. Yeah. Boom. Boom. And I did want to run through really quick. I'm going to get to our, any modern in the whole universe to say, we're going to get to our questions in just a second. I wanted to give a shout out cause we said this last week, but this is going to be going up on YouTube. So I want to give a shout out that we're going to have Lila as Harbinger, Lila from Arrow, AKA, uh, wife of Diggle yes. is going to be actually reprising the role that we thought she was playing kind of it, her name. Lila was a nod to a character from Crisis on Infinite Earths. Now she's going to play it yes. with a costume, which is pretty cool. Brandon Routh will be Kingdom Come Superman. Tom Welling and Erica Durant will be reprising their roles from Smallville. And Tyler Hecklin and Elizabeth Tulak from last year's crossover as Lois and Clark. They will oh, be back as we well. Oh, and should have pulled... Um, sorry, finish your list. Yeah, John Cryer will be rep- uh, reprising as Lex Luthor. Burt Ward from the Batman 66 show will be coming. There is a photo of him on set. And it looks adorable. Chris Williams will be joining from Black Lightning as Black Lightning. Possibly his daughters. We're not sure about that. He's at least been seen on set with a new costume, which looks awesome. Kevin Conroy will be playing Bruce Wayne. Uh, Ashley Scott from Birds of Prey will play Huntress. Uh, Osric Chow will be playing Ryan Choi. And Jonathan uh, uh, Scare, I'm sorry, I don't know how to say his last name, will be playing Jonah Hex, who's been on Legends of Tomorrow. He will be on the crossover as well. And also... Shek. 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 Thank you. And lastly, I wanted to say Sunday, December 8th, 8 p.m. It will be Supergirl, Batwoman on Monday, December 9th, The Flash on Tuesday, December 10th. Then a month later, January 14th, we'll have Arrow. And then finally, DC's Legends of Tomorrow on Tuesday, January 14th, 9 p.m. That's how we're going to be ending this entire crossover. We have to wait way too long. I did want to hop into some questions. You wanted to say something? I think. Oh, the Burt Ward picture. He looks adorable. He's, he's wearing, wearing like Robin. A... He's wearing Robin colors. So I'm thinking like maybe. May, I think the coolest thing is if that's the the, the Batman and Robin of that universe got to grow old and be happy, and he's yeah. just old <laughs> Burt Ward, and he has um, a. Uh, German Shepherd that people are speculating might be Ace the Bat Hound, which Very would cool. be fucking adorable. And I told you guys that's his whole thing is dogs. Burt Ward. Burt Ward, really? Oh, so Burt Ward has become a dog rescuer full Aww. time. That's he, great. He married a woman who is incredibly wealthy. They live in a home that has 150 dogs at all times. They like rescue dogs and have created puppy chow for dogs that's like helps extend their life by five, ten years. Like they have done <gasps> devoted their whole lives to dog research. Good for love it. Robin so saving the day. So if they dogs. stick it stick him with, with Ace the Bat Hound, that'd be so amazing. That'd be really cool. We have a question. We have a couple questions here. Uh, I wanted to give a shout out to uh, Zral13. Are all the Earths going to be erased ju- to just Earth 1? I know it'd be easier for all the shows being on one Earth, but then what about all the other alternate Earth characters like Jesse Quick and Harry and the Council of Wells? We bring them all to our Earth. There you go. So all the Harrison Wells live in one apartment complex. Mm-hmm. Everyone gets their own room. That would be cool. Also, there's some of those. that are Bunk just beds. Bunk beds. I, I think we're obviously going to see some realities like to just erase from existence. I, I've been thinking a lot about this because in the comic, it's it all becomes one thing but that doesn't really especially if if rumors are true and we do get some of the titans or whatever their earth's not going to go anywhere mm. um so i think the the end game will be supergirl's earth merges into earth one and maybe black lightning and maybe. maybe black lightning and but there's still a multiverse because then remember in 52 they just brought the multiverse i mean it took them 20 some years but they eventually just brought the multiverse Cause back because it, it yeah it's a fun storytelling element mm-hmm. so i don't think it's everything's fused together but i do think a few of the earths will be fused together there you go at least the main cw shows uh yeah. roxy what are you, you think they're gonna fuse you i think, do yeah I do. you think they're all gonna play nice no well there you go they're gonna have some problems all the harrison walls are gonna be fighting each yes. other is there any chance that they're gonna do what they did in the comics because that's also how they rebooted everything so we got batman year one we got superman man of steel and with a new origin do you think post-crisis we could have basically like a redo on flash like you know what Forget the last five seasons. Here's season one again. I mean, there's there's some comic book gobbledygook that you kind of dip your toe into and kind of play around with, which would be fun. Uh, I know that Wally uh, is supposed to come, Keenan Lonsdale is supposed to come back and play Wally in an episode uh, this season. Maybe he can come back again. Maybe with the reboot, something else could happen later in the season, which would be really cool. I know Bloodwork is the main villain for this year on The Flash, but... Mm-hmm. Maybe it is more tied to Crisis on Infinite Earths. It's hard to say. We do know that Earths are disappearing. Earth 2 is just all yeah. gone. Um, but I'm excited to see the others starting to disappear. Um, I did want to ask uh, from SDS2884, which character from the, any of the other shows would you like to be a permanent cast member on Legends of Tomorrow? For me, it would be Jennifer from Black Lightning. We threw out Lucifer as a fun idea, but what are any other shows you'd want to kind of like see them scoot over? Mm. I know DJ might say Swamp Thing. Mm-hmm. There you or go. at least just for an episode. I don't have one other than Lucifer. There you go. Uh, uh, no, I can, Gotham. I, no, I, I feel like they really don't fit on the Wave Rider. Very true. 
It's very different. You don't want Penguin and Riddler hanging out with that crew? Smooching. I just feel like they would be like, what the actual, like, what is happening? No. The Wave Rider people or Penguin and well, Riddler? Penguin and Riddler. See, I feel like the Wave Rider people would see Penguin and Riddler doing their little, like, bit and they'd be like, mm, we'll dump them out. <laughs> <laughs> we'll dump them out in 18 You know, it'll be interesting to see the Wave Rider kind of become a last home for lost toy, like, basically destroyed universes. I, there, there was some article going around that apparently. Um, Connor Hawks, Green Arrow is supposed to become a part of the cast, and I feel like that maybe was a missed uh, opportunity. Be, why missed opportunity? I think it would have been cool to have him be a part of the show. Why can't we do that? Because uh, he's not Green Arrow, apparently. We could still do it. Cat McNamara is Green Arrow. Well, well I mean, when the Earth someone's salty is. about it. He could still do it. He could still use a bow and arrow. No. Yeah. Only if we've learned with Flash, there can only be one. <laughs> he's the fastest man alive. His Very name's true. Ezra Miller. There you go. Oh, oh he could be in it. You know what would be kind of fun is if they finally showed... Batman from the CW universe that we've never seen, besides the back of his head when he mm. let Batwoman's whole family fall off a cliff. <laughs> um, and then uh, you could show that. And also we know in this episode of Batwoman, uh, Rachel Maddow says, mm -hmm. uh, Robin, is it Robin yeah. running around? I was like, oh, that means there's got to be a Robin. Mm -hmm. So maybe they're hanging out somewhere. Who's to say? We could see a couple different characters showing up. I want to know from you guys, though, who you want to see join the any of the shows on a permanent basis, maybe Legends Tomorrow, maybe Flash. Do you want that Arrow crossover that's going to happen? Or not, sorry, spinoff that will have all the ladies? Is that something that sounds cool? Does it cool? remind you of that the Scrubs extra season or it whatever? It does. Okay. And that was not good. Yeah. But, nope, don't have anything good out of that. Mm. New theme song was okay. <laughs> See? So there you go. There it is. I am excited for this crossover and for the more news to come out. Just keep saying casting announcements because at this point, there's no way they do anything. It's just got to yeah. be window opens up yeah. and you see Burt Ward like walking his dog and you're like, there it there is. There he is. Fly, Robin, fly. <laughs> there you go. And he uses like... <laughs> Grab a grappling hook or something. Uh, I'm not sure, but Roxy, where can people find you? Everywhere at Roxy Stryer. Bing, bang, boom. DJ? At DJ Talks Trash. At Sam Basher. Every Thursday, 3 p.m., we're doing Super TV Showdown. Please come join us for as low as five bucks a month. You can get all the episodes. We're talking about Flash, Arrow, Supergirl, Black... Batwoman, Black Lightning, and we're going to be talking about uh, HBO's Watchmen next week. If you want to join us, it's going to be fun. That's the premiere. I hope good things. Yes. We'll see how that goes. Will they be in the crossover this year? Nope. No. <laughs> but it's fun to speculate, so make sure you join us every Thursday and on Gina Friday. Gang, just maybe. I mean, maybe. Uh, Dr. Just, Manhattan. He's just a CG effect at that point. You could just throw him in the background just or something. Just a blue light. Yeah, yeah. Blue dong. It doesn't matter. It can be anything. Um, but you know what? Please join us. Friday's going to be doing our live recording of the OSA podcast, and you can just follow us at Only Stupid Answers on Twitter. Yank out the vowels from stupid. For all those updates, and until then, guys, we'll see you then.